What a beautiful day to go to the beach. <laughs> I love how you use the beach ramps, Groovy. I'm glad you're wearing light clothes. It's important not to get dressed in warm clothes in summer. It's the hottest season and the sun heats up a lot. Hmm. The cooler is too close to the sea. What do you think, kids? Is it a good place to leave it? Oh, are you going to play paddle ball? What a great idea. Ruby, do you know how to play? Sure. Groovy, you have to hit it with the paddle. Exactly, with that one. It's your turn to start. Really good, Groovy. We found your sport. Wow, Phoebe, you're getting sunburned. Haven't you used any sunscreen? Phoebe, you have to use sunscreen, always. It's essential not to get burnt, and you too, Groovy, even if you don't get sunburnt easily. Pops, help me explain to them what else they have to do to protect themselves from the sun. In summer, the sun heats up a lot. Every time you go to the beach, the swimming pool, or the park, you have to follow this not to get sunburnt. 1. Use sunscreen several times during the day. 2. Use caps or hats. 3. Protect your eyes with sunglasses. And 4. Stay in the shade during the hottest hours. For example, under the umbrella. Have you understood? Very good. Put on sunscreen all over your body. Perfect. Now we need something to cover your head. Great. And what else? Bright, cool sunglasses. You're ready to keep playing. Groovy, what's wrong? Oh no, the wave stole the cooler with our snacks inside. Oh, uh, the, the sea is dragging it further and further away. I knew Groovy. Our fridge has our favorite snack. Fresh summer fruit. Watermelon, nectarine, melon. We have to get it back. Hmm, what can we do? I know, Groovy can help us. Kids, what should Groovy transform into to get the fridge back? A camera? A paddle boat? Or a ball? Really good! Into a paddle boat! Come on, Phoebe, you can do it. You're doing it great. Less is left. Keep moving. Very good. Watch out, a wave. Yay, it's already yours. Now to the beach. Good, you've done it, kids. Now, snack time. Under the umbrella, you can enjoy your snack without getting sunburned. The fresh fruit is the best to recharge your batteries. Isn't it good? What a beautiful day to play at the beach.
No, Groovy. You can't just leave the waste there. Even if it's not yours, you should throw it into the container. Oh, awful. The beach is full of garbage. We can't allow it, children. We should do something. Right, Pops? Our planet is in danger because humans won't stop polluting. Garbage can't be thrown anywhere. It must be thrown into the container. Also, we must recycle, throwing each bottle into their container green bottles inside the green container, blue bottles inside the blue container, and red ones inside the red container. Come on, children, let's recycle all together. In which container should these bottles be thrown? Really good, Phoebe. Well done. The blue bottle goes inside the blue container. No, Groovy. The red bottle doesn't go inside the blue container. In which one, children? Exactly. Inside the red one. I have an idea to clean the beach. Why don't we have a competition between Phoebe and Groovy to see who is faster picking up bottles? Do you accept the challenge? The game is very easy. There are five bottles in each field. Phoebe and Groovy have to collect and recycle them correctly. Understood? Ready, set, go. The two players get the bottle. Phoebe dunks her own correctly, but Groovy fails. Oh no, you have to pick it up again. Phoebe takes the lead ahead of Groovy, who has now correctly slammed his bottle. Phoebe goes for her third bottle, while Groovy goes for the second. It seems that the game is decided. Phoebe is going to win unless Groovy does something. Unbelievable! Groovy transforms into an octopus and advances positions. The game is not decided yet. The game is very even. Both players are going to dunk their last bottles, and the result is... Draw! Actually, we have all won because the beach has been cleaned. Thanks, kids. Oh, a giant wave. What's up? The wave has left the beach full of bottles again. Children, we have a problem, a really big one. The sea is full of bottles too. What can we do to collect them? Can you think of something? I know! Groovy can help us! What should Groovy transform into to collect the bottles? Pencil? A boat? Or a ball? That's it! Groovy should transform into a boat to collect the bottles. Come on, kids. Let's fish these bottles. Wow, the beach looks beautiful now that it's clean. We can continue enjoying this wonderful day. What a great idea, celebrate it with fresh fruit juice. But kids, what do we have to do when it's finished? Exactly, recycle them. Very well, you have learned the lesson. The trash always to its container.
What a beautiful day to dive and see coral and colorful fish. Look how beautiful the bottom of the sea is. What a nice clownfish. Hi, little friend. Groovy, little by little, if you practice, you'll end up swimming like a real fish. Oh, what is this disaster? It's horrible. The bottom of the sea looks like a dump. Animals can't live like this. What was that, kids? To find out, we better follow it. I can't believe it! It's a mermaid! Let's follow her, kids! She's gone in there! Where is she gone? There she is! Poor thing! She's crying! Children, let's try to cheer her up. The mermaid is sad because her house, the bottom of the sea, is in serious danger because of the plastic. Plastic is lethal for poor marine animals. Isn't that right, Pops? Plastic containers that are not recycled end up in the sea and are a deadly trap for the poor fish who get caught in them or get poisoned by eating them. This disaster must be stopped. Children, shall we help the mermaid to clean up the bottom of the sea? Yes, that's how I like it. We help those who are in need. Don't worry, little mermaid. We'll help you. But children, how can we do it? There's a lot of plastic in the sea. We need something big, groovy. Can you think of anything? Children, what should Groovy transform into to collect as much plastic as possible? A pearl necklace? A submarine? Or a daisy? Yes, into a submarine. Fantastic! With this super submarine, we'll clean the bottom in no time. There's nothing like teamwork to go even faster. Bye-bye to that awful plastic. The fish are happy. And the sea is back to its original appearance. All right, kids. Great job. You've done a great job together. Congratulations. You have helped the mermaid and all the fish. The sea is now a better place, free of plastics. Goodbye, mermaid. We promise to recycle all the plastic at home so that it doesn't end up in our oceans. Right, children? <laughs> Remember, children, say no to throwing plastic away. Say yes to recycling it. It's a beautiful day to play at the beach. Look, that little girl wants to play too. Why don't you throw her the ball? The more we are, the more fun we'll have. Huh? She stole the ball.
I can't believe it. She's not a girl. She's a mermaid. Phoebe, where did she go? We'll have to use the GPS. Groovy! Good morning, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen a little mermaid with a ball? Hey, Mr. Swordfish. Haven't you seen a little mermaid by any chance? Miss Jellyfish, have you seen a mermaid swimming around here? No? Sharks! It would be better if you just run! Be calm. I'm sure that if we try to talk to them, does someone speak shark? No? And whale? <laughs> nice try. But I think it didn't work. We are safe by the skin of my teeth, thanks to this friendly family of sharks and their three delightful fried rice. Friends, sharks, we are looking for the mermaid who took our ball. Do you know her? <coughs> they do. Let's follow them. This is an authentic Spanish galleon. It sank centuries ago. Maybe there's a... A treasure! Whoa! <laughs> Look, children, there she is, the little mermaid. And she keeps her own treasures. <laughs> yes, Phoebe, that's our ball. But she's not giving it back to us. For her, that ball is a treasure. What if she keeps it and gives us this luxury collars in return? <laughs> Everyone happy. Although the best thing about having a ball is to play with your friends. <laughs> what an aquatic adventure we live today. And we've learned that what for one is not important at all, for others is a precious treasure. What a beautiful day to build a sandcastle. Wow, what a beautiful butterfly. And it's red. Be careful, Groovy. Oh, Groovy, you've crushed Phoebe's castle. And it was so beautiful. Phoebe, don't be angry. It was an accident. Why don't we make a super castle? More beautiful and much bigger. Pops, can you help me with the construction plans? Look, this is the castle we're going to build. Isn't it cool? Although it seems like a big castle, it's made of three very simple figures. The base is a rectangle. It has four sides, two shorter and two longer. The towers are squares with four sides with the same length. And the roofs are triangles. They only have three sides. Groovy, do you dare to make this castle? Let's go. According to Pop's plans, the first thing we have to build is a big rectangle. Which one of these molds is a rectangle? Children, can you help Phoebe and Groovy? Very well, children. That is a rectangle. Your fire truck toy also has rectangular shape. Hey. 
According to Pops, now we need squares. Which one of these molds is a square? <laughs> children, can you help us? Very well, children. That is a square. The dices also are squares. Now, it's very easy. There's only one mold left. The one shaped like a triangle. The triangles have the same shape of the musical instruments, also called triangles. <laughs> it's easy to remember the name, isn't it? Great, we finished the Super Sand Castle. Groovy, please stop playing. <laughs> You're gonna make it rain. Uh-oh, it's going to rain soon and it will ruin the castle. We have to do something. I know, Groovy, can you help us? What should Groovy transform into to save the castle? A money box? A stop signal? Or a sunshade? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a sunshade to save the castle. Great, Groovy. You saved the castle, and also Phoebe and Pops didn't get wet. Bye, Cloud. Bye. Well, now they are getting wet, Groovy. Children, do we continue building castles with shapes? Yay! Children, can you help us match every toy with its shape? What shape does this trunk have? A rectangle. Good. And this dice? A square. Good. And this triangle? This is easy, isn't it? The musical instrument, also called a triangle. <laughs> no, Groovy. Not again, please. <laughs>